All right, guys, how's it going? We're back. It's me and Sarah. We're hunting a creek that we, we hunted it yesterday. You guys probably saw the video a week ago or maybe last, some, somewhere around there. Uh, snowy Creek hunt. We had like six of us yesterday. Ended up shooting like, killed like 16, only found like 13, I think it was. So it was all right. But if you guys watched that video, you saw we saw a lot of birds. A lot of birds short stopped us or went on the other side of us or we missed or we didn't get shots at <laughs> or they flared or whatever. So we have permission on this creek again today, and then that's it for the rest of the season, more than likely. So we figured, ah, me and Sarah are gonna come here, no groups, no, not even a cameraman. So I'm filming on my iPhone. We got some GoPros and a shot cam. So we'll see how this turns out. And uh, we're just gonna go have some fun. We got Buck in the back. We've already got the decoy set up. Uh, we just gotta set the mojo. We're using mojos today. We did use mojos yesterday. I had to bring a hammer to pound the stakes in like the gravelly mud bottom of this creek. Uh, but I think the mojos will help us out. I'm not sure. Like I said, these birds are going to be probably pretty wary, but we're not bringing any blind. We have the cedars that we cut yesterday for the RA frame. We kind of propped them up in the mud and the snow. There's like four or five inches of snow on the ground right now. We should be wearing white. We don't have white, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> but uh, we're sitting in the truck now. We're just keeping warm. It's like 18 degrees or 20 degrees out. So uh, it's pretty chilly. So we got our guns in here, keeping them warm and dry. Uh, but like I said, blinds already set up, decoys already set up. We just got to hook up the mojo to the remote, and uh, we're good. So we're gonna sit in here for about 15 more minutes, and then go after. But all right, guys, we got the two mojo or AV and X, I guess they are. I think the remotes are working, but they're kind of tricky. We got Sarah up there in our little cedar cocoon. We got three and a half, three dozen mallards, and then like six assortment of like teal and pintail decoys. We have like three and a half dozen decoys. Got a nice little U, super standard. Bucked in the water for some reason. He's never cold. But yeah, we're gonna go get snuggled up in there and we have about five minutes of shooting light. It's really bright out because of all the snow. So we'll see. All right, babe, how's it going? Good. We're in our little cocoon. We just had a mallard drake do it pretty dirty. We just caught us off guard. We weren't ready, but now we are. Shot cam's on. Got GoPro behind us. It is super bright out. Got a little mojo thing in there. We're gonna try to shoot some ducks here in a second. So, wish us luck. Noggin. Hopefully you saw that. Fetch him up. Sarah had a common case of forget to put a shell in her gun, but it happens to the best of us. So I had to get her, get him. But yeah, hopefully the GoPro picked it up. That bird worked right, was right in her, honestly too close. Like <laughs> was right in front of us, like touching these little branches here about five, six yards. So come on, Buck. Buck's pick it up. Nice Drake Mallard. And uh, yeah, that bird just came perfect like this. Just came right in was like floating right here never even looked up at us was just focused on the decoys I 
think it's, I think it's a black duck. I've never seen one. I, I know, I didn't care though. Hold on. Touch it up, Buck. I think I've never seen one of those in my life. Not 100% positive, but sure. Do you see how dark it looks? Yeah. That was so chaotic. Come here, Buck. Touch it up. Touch it up. It looks very dark. Looks super dark, doesn't it? Yeah. I think it might be. Look at the bottom, it doesn't have any white on it. Like, I just don't know if it's like a really dark. You see how it's like purple? Yeah. It's like, that's like the. the like, the then she like didn't want to or whatever and <laughs> just panicked and it landed over. And as soon as I saw, it, I'm pretty sure this is a, a black duck. The purple on the. And it's super dark. I'll show you in a little bit. But anyway, I, I shot it. It was like flying away. Then my gun didn't have a bullet in the. A bullet in the chamber. Uh oh, there's a game horn. And uh ended up going way over there and then had to shoot a bunch of times with her gun because it was crippled. But so here's a compared to, it's gotta be. I mean here's a compared to a hen. She doesn't got the white and it's blue and this is purple. Maybe it might not be a purebred or whatever. We are in Kansas. I've never seen these before in my life. But I'm pretty sure that's a black duck. <laughs> Alright guys, we're done. I just want to show you this one more time. You can see the size difference of, of like this black duck's huge. Definitely a black duck. We did. Look I was at, pretty. I mean, look at just the head yeah, difference. Yeah, yeah. And the purple on the wing, no white. It's gorgeous. So we're calling it. We probably shoot some more birds, but we're cold and it's been slow enough and we missed some opportunities. <laughs> That's some birds. So uh, we're going to call it a very successful hunt. We shot five ducks. Could have shot definitely more we pretty much killed everything we shot at we just didn't shoot at some of them but <laughs> anyway we're talking and whatnot so we're gonna pack it on up pick up all the decoys and go get the truck and hopefully not to get stuck first black duck first black duck i've also, ever seen or shot also from the camera to both of us what also first hunt together oh yeah with two just two of us, us. no and cody buck. no nothing and buck. yeah just buck yeah just buck me so all right guys thanks for watching subscribe if you're not and we'll catch you on the next one